Good morning, Saints Peter and Paul. Happy Thursday. Welcome to our final morning prayer video together. Um, I know we're all not together, and I know it's different than how we've done morning prayer all year, but I am thankful for the opportunity to bring our morning routine to you, even if we're not together, even if you're watching, I don't know, some of you might even be watching at nighttime, and that's okay. Um, it makes me feel closer to you, and it's such a part of my routine. I'm going to miss having the opportunity to pray with you guys every day. Um, but it's very perfect that this is our last one for the year and we are talking about celebrating our trials and enduring through them and how we can become stronger because of them. So let's begin this Thursday with our final daily prayer video. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. From Jesus Calling. Consider problems as pure joy. That's not the way the world usually looks at problems, is it? The world says to do everything you can to avoid problems, but there is simply no way to avoid every problem, no matter how hard you try. The best way to get through a difficult day is to hold my hand tightly and keep talking to me. As we talk, be sure to tell me you trust me and thank me for my help. Ask me to guide you through your problems and show you the blessings hidden in them. The blessing of self-control can be learned from dealing with a difficult teacher. The blessing of patience can be learned from an illness. I teach you many things through your problems. I also use them to draw you closer to me. So yes, consider problems as pure joy, knowing that with me by your side, they can become things worth celebrating. A reading from the letter of James. My friends, Consider yourselves fortunate when all kinds of trials come your way, for you know that when your faith succeeds in facing such trials, the result is the ability to endure. Make sure that your endurance carries you all the way without failing, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. But if any of you lack wisdom, you should pray to God, who will give it to you, because God gives generously and graciously to all. But when you pray, you must believe and not doubt at all. Whoever doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and blown about by the wind. The word of the Lord. And we pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For all the saints, Peter and Paul, students, staff, parents, and friends, we pray to the Lord. For those suffering from the coronavirus, that they might be healed, we pray to the Lord. For everyone to return in the fall, refreshed, relaxed, and renewed, we pray to the Lord. Saints, Peter and Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great summer. You guys are all Panther strong. You are all amazing. And I cannot wait to get you back in school and see you in person. Have a great summer. Stay safe and reach out if you need us at all. We are all still here for you.